So my final commentary of what has been a very long week in week 10 is the Irish St. Ledger. It's over a mile and six furlongs and it's group one. The same as the real St. Ledger, but this time it's open to older horses as well as the three-year-olds. And at the top we've got Al Manzor for Dan Hughes. Let's hope the voice lasts out for this final commentary of the week. Archduke Ferdinand Graham Clinton Guide to the Unexplained. Leon Van Rensburg, October Tiger Graham Clinton Red Rover Padre Hogan. Secret Plans, Leon Van Rensburg, Uni Light Craig Allen, Reno Response Vinny Gerard, Rory Hawk, Dan Hughes, Tamora Finisterre, David Robertson, Wheel of Fortune Craig Beck with Morse, Paul Rose, Darren Thompson had got the bottom one. I didn't quite catch it. Swartz Corner, I think they're already racing. They're still trying to catch me out right at the end. And it's Secret Plans who's got off into the lead from Red Rover Reno response and Morse as they sort themselves out through the first couple of furlongs and Morse has come through to take it up so Morse in the lead then bypassing the three-year-olds at Ledger at Doncaster to come into this one he's in the lead from October Tiger wide on the track second secret plans is next then Red Rover and Guide to the Unexplained Al Manzor is also close up looking towards the back tomorrow Finisterre is the back marker he's wide on the track but there's only one big turn to take and Morse is clear by about two or three lengths. This one likes to go off with a lead but doesn't usually last home. October Tiger is second. Then comes Guide to the Unexplained and Red Rover, Almanzor and Secret Plans. Then Archduke Ferdinand, Schwartz Corner is after that. Then Uni Light and Roaring Hawk, Tamora Finisterre and finally Reno Response. But Morse is set at a stiff pace in the lead by four lengths to October Tiger in second. Almanzor is third. Red Rover is fourth. Then comes Guide to the Unexplained and Archduke Ferdinand, Secret Plans is next. Then Uni Light, Tamora Finisterre is getting a bit close the grey Schwartz corner being snatched up at the back there shorter racing room but it's Morse who's now six clear probably from October Tiger in second Guide to the Unexplained on the rail is third then comes Al Manzor Red Rover in a yellow jacket then the first of the greys is Archduke Ferdinand tucked up on the inside is Wheel of Fortune Tamora Finisterre is trying to go wide secret plans Unilight and Reno Response have got work to do Schwartz corner's boxed in and it's Morse who's still clear then passing the seven furlong pole Morse is well clear as we change angles and see Guide to the Unexplained is just second now being headed by Red Rover who's now the first one to burst through out of the pack to try and get closer to the leader taking on Guide to the Unexplained with him and these three are now clear of the pack it's Morse, Red Rover, Guide to the Unexplained gap back to Almanzor and Archduke Ferdinand, Secret Plans is trying to run on then Roaring Hawk trying to get into it but it's Morse has kicked on again in front Morse from Red Rover and Guide to the Unexplained who's been driven along in third gap of three lengths then back to Archduke Ferdinand and Almanzor as they come down towards the Final four furlongs then in the Irish St. Ledger and Morse is still in the lead from Red Rover in second. Going to the unexplained is third. Gap back to Almanzor Schwartz Corner has now got a clear run. He's absolutely motoring. So too is Roaring Hawk. Reno response is trying to come off the fence. After that one is secret plans, but it's still Morse. Morse is still in the lead from Red Rover. Then going to the unexplained. Here come the pack men now. Schwartz Corner, Almanzor coming through. Schwartz Corner's burst into the lead. It's Schwartz Corner who takes it up from Roaring Hawk and Reno response. Then on the inside. Red Rover and Almanzor trying to get into it. Secret Plans is next. There's a furlong and a half to go. And it's Reno Response and Roaring Hawk on the inside. Red Rover's burst back into the lead. And it's Red Rover who takes it up. But Almanzor is now coming. Also on the outside. Tamora Finisterre and wider still is Unilight. And it's Unilight who's going to come through to take it. I think Unilight has gone off into the lead. He's going too fast for the cameraman. He's out of shot. And it's Unilight who's going to win the Irish St. Leisure without even being in the picture almost. And Unilight takes it. And what a bizarre race that turned out to be. I thought Unilight was going to run out of the screen. I don't know what was going on there. The cameraman was focusing on the wrong horses, I think. And Unilight's taking it. Wheel of Fortune from nowhere to be second. And Reno response third. Unilight's won it for Craig Allen. Wheel of Fortune for Craig Beckwith was second. Reno response for Vinnie Gerard third. Red Rover for Bad Rang Hogan fourth. Roaring Hawk for Dan Hughes was fifth. And I'm going for a lie down.